Hey Polish fans, welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer and today I am super excited because today I am filming my first YouTube tag video. So this is through Kelly Marissa here on YouTube and she put together her own tag and if you're not aware of what a tag is, essentially a YouTuber will go onto their channel and make a video and tag other YouTubers. And what she's done is essentially tag all of her viewers. So anyone can go ahead and make the tag that she put together. And it is regarding my polish collection. So it's questions about each of our nail polish collections. And let's dive right in. The first question is, how many nail polishes do you own? So I recently was able to go through and add more nail polishes to my nail polish app. That's how I keep track of what nail polishes I've already purchased, which ones I may have purchased in the past, but de-stashed for whatever reason. And I've got at this point over 1600. I don't have an, an exact number because I still have about a small box full of ones that I haven't entered into the app because they are not in the app. So I have to go ahead and create a listing for each one. So it's a little bit time consuming, but currently I'm sitting at about 1600. So, uh, question number two is what is the first polish you remember buying? And I thought and thought about this and I, I don't know that I remember my very first nail polish that I purchased. Probably before I was, uh, a teenager any of the nail polishes that I would have had would have been like my mom's hand-me-downs a friend's so I don't really remember a specific one that I bought that would be my first nail polish however my first nail polish distinct memory was regarding a color somewhere along the lines of this bright blue it wasn't this particular bottle but I remember being drawn to a very specific bright, like turquoise teal, shiny nail polish. And that's one of my earliest memories of nail polish. Question number three, most recent nail polish that you've added to your collection. And that would be this one, OPI, show us your tips. This one I got in an order from Walmart just recently, and it is this beautiful light periwinkle color. Definitely happy to finally have this in my nail polish collection. It was on my wish list for quite a while. So beautiful color there. And that was Show Us Your Tips by OPI. Question number four, what is your least favorite nail polish that you own? Now, I don't often keep nail polishes that I don't like in my collection. Um, funny enough, I actually had Kelly Morris's nail polish, the OPI Pineapples Have Peelings too. I somehow got that in a D stash or a bag of nail polish from the thrift store. And I thought just along the lines of, of what she did that it was hideous. <laughs> I immediately got rid of it and I was really surprised that it actually sold when I sold it. But I do have a few nail polishes in my collection that I don't like for one reason or another, but I've also kept for one reason or another. So the one that came to mind for that question, my least favorite nail polish, is this light pink Essie and it's called Just Stitched. And it is this adorable light pink on my camera right now, I think it's coming off way more nude than it is. It is a light ballerina pink and it has this subtle blue shimmer in it, which I thought was really unique. It's also part of the cashmere collection. So it's gonna dry to this satin matte finish, as you can see there. And I would have been fine with this, but what I found, at least when I attempted to actually wear it, was that the formula was not easy to work with. Let's just put it that way. I put on about three coats of this and each one just got worse 
and worse. And I was so frustrated. This, I think, also holds the uh, place of being the polish I wore for the least amount of time because after the third coat, it was gloppy and thick on my nail and it still looked streaky. I immediately took it off and I almost got rid of it too, except that I was like, well, I want this to work. I like this polish. It's this very cute polish. So I've kept it, but for the time being, it holds the place of my least favorite nail polish. Question number five, what is your rarest nail polish? I had to think about that one too, because I don't exactly have what I would consider really rare nail polishes. The NFUO polish that I have could be fairly rare, but the one that came to mind was this one by Cult Nails, and they also don't make nail polish anymore, which is why I think it's a one of my rarer polishes. And this one is called Hypnotize Me. This was on my wish list from swatches that I saw on Pinterest, and it is gorgeous over other colors. And it took me a while to get a hold of this because, like I said, they don't make nail polish anymore, but I was able to find it through a D stash. So this was the one that came to mind for that question. What is my rarest nail polish? And again, that one's Cult Nails, Hypnotize Me. Question number six, what is your most expensive nail polish? And that honor and distinction goes to my Dawn Diva called I Got a Killer Pussycat. And it is a magnetic and it was $20, which is a bit more than I usually will spend on nail polish. I'm honestly not really sure why it was $20, but it's possible maybe it was one of those group customs and I didn't realize it at the time and I didn't use a coupon code. In any case, this holds the distinction of being the polish that I've spent the most on. And it is this really beautiful magnetic multi-chrome. As you can see there, it's got this beautiful shift from this deep, very deep teal to purple, to a little bit of gold at the edges. And the swatches of this were what really sold it to me. The green aspect of this is absolutely stunning when it's magnetized. And it looks like the Northern Lights, always drawn to polishes that do that. So I splurged and got this one. I actually have yet to, to wear it. So I'll have to change that here sometime soon. But for the time being, here is Dawn Diva, and this holds the place of my most expensive nail polish. Question number seven, what brand do you own the most of? So as I said before, I do have a app that keeps track of nail polishes. So it's really easy to just scroll through and see what brands you have the most of. Now I am going to list two because the first one that I technically have the most of to me, while it is, I guess, technically a, well, I don't know. I'm not sure if it is an indie brand or not. It's Julep. So I have 72 Julep nail polishes, which is way more than I thought I did. Um, they are a brand or a company that is out of Seattle. And I, for a long time, was subscribed to their sort of monthly nail polish box. So you'd get two to three nail polishes every month mailed out to you, which I guess would account to me having so many of them. Um, I can't say, however, that they are my favorite as far as formulas go, though. So I wanted to also list my second most owned, and that is Bee's Knees. And they are an indie brand, and I have over 60 bottles of their nail polish. So they're very, very close to being my highest brand that I own. Question number eight is what color do you own the most of? And that is easy. Purple. Purple all the way. <laughs> Once you combine all the colors of lilac and lavender and periwinkle and flat out purple, not to even mention all of the multi-chromes like this one that have a main color that 
lends itself to being in the purple family, I have purple hands down the most of. And just to give you an example, hang on. I have been putting together a My Purple Favorites. And so far, step one is combining all of my nail polishes, gathering them all together. And this is just one small tray of my purple nail polishes. And here is a tote of my purple nail polishes. And this is not all of them. I still have more together. So I don't know if it's easy to tell from that this angle, but this tote is about seven inches tall and it is full of purple nail polishes. So there you have it. Purple is hands down the color that I own the most of. Question number nine is which polish means the most to you? And I had to really think about this question too because I don't offhand really have a polish that is very sentimental. Um, I even went back to my wedding pictures, which was almost 12 years ago. And at that point in time, even though I liked nail polish, I wasn't that into it that I actually had one picked out for my wedding. I'm pretty sure I had bare nails. <laughs> Shocking, I know. So I had to really think about what was the nail polish that meant the most to me. And the one that came to mind is this one by Native War Paints, and it is their June 2018. And it doesn't necessarily hold any specific meaning or sentimental feelings about it, except that it is one of my most cherished polishes in that it is very unique. I look for other polishes that remind me of this one because this one is no longer available. I get compliments when I do wear this and it just makes me smile. So this one really came to mind as being the one that is on my mind as being one of the most unique, one of my favorites to wear. So for that, which polish means the most to you, I would have to say Native War Paints, June 2018. And question number 10, the last question, what is your go-to nail polish right now? Now, with so many nail polishes, I don't really have a go-to that I wear over and over again. So this was another question that I really had to think about because I don't have a tendency of leaning towards one bottle over another especially back to back. Um, so the polish that I would say I is my go-to always because I almost always wear it as my base coat is a base coat. <laughs> so sort of boring, sorry. But this is this nail armor hardener. And before I started using this, I was having some nail peeling issues. And right now my nails are pretty short. I had a pretty bad break on this pinky and it's actually grown out quite a bit, but is, as you can see, it's still really short. And this is where the initial break happened. It busted right here. So I wound up having to cut that one off. Therefore I cut off all of my other nails to sort of at least even them out for the time being. But when my nails are their usual length, before I started using this, I was noticing peels uh, you would get these little chips in your nails from running into something, hitting your head against, your hand against something. Something would happen and you get a little tiny chip. And with my nails, they would wind up peeling off that top layer, which would then weaken the nails even more. So I was looking for something to help strengthen them. And I wound up finding this at Grocery Outlet of all places. And it worked wonders. It's a very nice hardener. I've noticed a very big difference in how my nails have strengthened. Um, and even though I do wind up every once in a while with some random mishaps happening to my nails, I've got to say this is by far my go-to, almost use it every single time, polish, even though it's technically a base coat. <laughs> 
So there you have it. There is my tag for Kelly Marissa's My Nail Polished Collection tag. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know down below what your answers are to the questions. I'll list the questions down below. Make sure that you like and subscribe to see more nail polish content. Hope everyone's doing great and having a wonderful weekend so far, and we'll see you in that next video.